up, everybody? It's the Daily Gamer back in part 15 of our GTA Vice City Definitive Edition Platinum Playthrough. Stream cut out. We got 13 stump jumps done. And uh, we got about five more to get before we get on these rampages around here. Once we do that, we a couple tax missions, but we're gonna we're gonna get everything done, and then we're gonna start unlocking this game. It's nice clean up kind of the mess, you know. We've done the pizza mission, We've done the paramedic. Wow, we're making a dent. Let's see how far we go in the taxis. We got She got thirteen stun jumps done. Um uh, 15 passengers, 85 more to go in the taxi. But we definitely got some done. Done the paramedic, I've done the firefighter. Knocked off eight stores, done one assassination contract. Finished that pizza mission. five properties so you know for being 21 percent complete stuck on this island we're doing pretty good so let's go get that next time jump on all right enjoy one-stop shop for people who know underwear should be worn on the outside. Wow, you look trendy. Complete the look. Complete the look. We have some sad news for you. Rock and roll is dead and pop is in. Why not discover the excitement of the science of music yourself at Synth and Son, the home of keyboards. Thanks to the science of music, you don't need musical talent to make great music. Just listen. I created that just by pressing a button. Synthesizers are the new way. Why work hard on difficult compositions when a machine can make music? I am building a highly fortified structure in my image. Simple. This 50-story statue will be able to deflect alpha, gamma, and beta radiation. The day is coming, and coming soon, where the artificial suns will rain down to punish the degenerates of this city. But you can save yourself. The Pastor Richard Salvation Statue will be a completely self-sufficient community. We have canned food rations, private living quarters. equip this massive statue with rockets so when the poopy hits the proverbial fan we will load up the statue with all of the people who have saved themselves through generous donations blast into space and colonize saturn with a race of morally correct affluent people ruled by me hmm. will there be naked people no turd brain it's morally correct For the nightmare by city is today the crime in the streets, the parties, the children born out of wedlock to a future of hopelessness. Anyone who does not agree with me is mentally sick and should be shot, I'm afraid to say. We need to build a place to escape these transgressions. Whew, <laughs> that's extreme stuff, Pastor. But we'll leave amateur eugenics for a minute and ask our other panelists. Jan, you're a mom, so you know everything. What is your thought on all this? And do you think Pastor Richard stole his ideas from a movie or a book? Well, yes, I am a mom. My kids are very special. So special, they go to special classes. Now, I, I teach my kids history to give them perspective. Last night, I was telling them about how Magellan sailed around the Strait of Magellan and met some friendly natives that gave him supplies. Um, then he had to kill all of them, and that's an important lesson about life. If you look at nature, you'll see many species that eat their children to protect them. Th this is especially true of hamsters. It's about putting the family first. That's really...
kids and screw anyone else. That's what this country's all about. I mean, I mean, I saw the hippies. What a load of claptrap. But what's your kid gonna do at a school with a name like Moonbeam or Wave or Horseradish or whatever they call them? How can you take your kid to a Little League game when you live in a communal farm growing drugs? It's awful. And that's what my life is about, looking down on others. Yes, I think I can see that now. Moving on. Pastor Richards, in your book, you talk about putting yourself first and how people should not make sacrifices or help those in need. Do you want to elaborate? Oh, that's right. People need to learn how to take care of themselves and not depend on others. If you read chapter 45 of my book, I talk about how being selfish is a virtue. The best thing you can do for someone that needs help is to tell them to help themselves. That builds moral character. Morality, Maurice. There's not much left in this city. Every time a culture has taken on the power of helping your fellow man, we get thrown into the dark age. I'm no dummy. Are we gonna talk about being naked? Yeah, soon, Barry. Uh, keep your hair on and uh, uh, calm down, please, my friend. <clears throat> Divorce. And is working late or away on an extended business trip to Hawaii with a secretary. I understand just how important the family unit is in life. He's working hard so I can get another station wagon with even more wood on it. Go on. Tell me more about your family. Um, well, I like... each other, especially me. Now, look at sharks and sandworms. Oh, and one of my hobbies, besides making babies and criticizing people, is biology. You learn so much from nature. Uh, people these days, they don't grow their own food. They can barely get out of their recliners and make it to the supermarket. <laughs> I tell you, there is nothing super about that place. Now, kids these days how to preserve and can their own food. No, no wonder all they want to do is play g video games or hang out with their friends. What is it, the Degeneratron? What a crock of shit. Hey, hey, watch your language. This is radio. We have regulations about... beat him to within an inch of his life, and he will never make that mistake again. Uh, American should be spoken properly. What? No, don't interrupt me. I've got children, you know. Please. This is really important. It's about the family. Look, look. Nobody knows how to cook anymore. Nobody knows how to kill anymore. Nobody knows how to kill dinner. My daddy was a very wise man before that tractor pull accident. My daddy taught me how to slaughter a pig. That's very useful information. Oh, sure, I was a little nervous at first, but he put me in a room with a fork and a fat sow and told me he'd be back in an hour. That little piggy. I did it for my family, and I'll do it again. Feeding the family is my job as a mother. Daddy earns money and goes away with a secretary, and Mommy provides dinner and keeps a brave face on things, even though her heart is breaking. Where are my pills? Barry, you look like you've got something to say. I agree. Statistics show that families that spend time together naked are the best kinds of families. You see, social class distinctions disappear when everyone is naked. I can't tell if you're rich or poor, black or white. It doesn't matter because we're all naked. Designer
natural ill. Or the cultural revolution in China. We can learn a lot. People want to be told how to act, and most people are idiots, and that's exactly who my this permissive society has no boundaries, and without boundaries, how do you know where the limits are? You have to know what's good and what's evil. You need someone to tell you so. Single moms have obese kids, it's a fact, while rich people have a lot of guilt, unnecessarily, in my opinion. I agree. I don't think these people understand just how hard it is to potty train. You have to give a treat when Precious makes a poop. My kids are big boned and they eat prunes every day. But that's what's wrong with this country. All of this emphasis on being thin and healthy. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to be self-sufficient. Yesterday, my youngest, Jono, killed the postman, but at least he was trying. So I gave him a cuddle, I told him to hit daddy next time he comes home late smelling of cheap perfume. Okay, it's time to take a break before we hear about any more criminal acts against government employees. You're listening to Pressing Issues. Morality is the subject at hand. Let's explain exactly how free radio without commercial breaks works. We'll be right back. You nearly hit You're listening me. to VCPR. Finally, a radio station for teachers and librarians. You've been enjoying pressing issues, but as is normal, you can't listen to an hour's worth of programming on this station without us begging for money. It's the Bi-Daily Begathon here on VCPR, where we hold your favorite shows hostage until you pony up some cash. You know what's so great about VCPR? It's like a shining torch of cultural enlightenment for Vice City. In these times of darkness, when the hordes are so uneducated they can barely understand multisyllabic phrases like, clean my shoes better, Marissa, or I'll report you to the IRS, or dialectical materialism. Isn't it pleasant to have a patronizing voice on the radio? That's right, Michelle. With the way things are going under Reagan, at any moment the unwashed Huns from the Midwest could descend upon Vice City and enslave the poets and postal workers and force us to watch network programming. VCPR is your public radio station, but you have to open your wallet. That's right. If you pledge at the $1,000 level, you'll get tickets for In the Future There Will Be Robots at the Vice City Art Center. People who see that show say it's difficult to put into English. That must mean it's spectacular. Yes, but if you don't give money to VCPR, we could be thrown back to the Stone Age. Liberals will be set on fire in the streets. Give now. Let's return to pressing issues. Over to you, Maurice, in the studio. Useless, talentless asshole. You're correct. He is an asshole. I love those guys. Really professional and living proof that all of the best talent isn't on commercial networks. These people do it for love because they have integrity, just like me. We're back with pressing issues. I'm Maurice Chavez, winner of five public radio awards in the Vice City. All right, well, that's all the jump we can do right now. Why don't we do a couple more mixes? Just to have some fun, you know what I mean? Since the beginning of time, man has asked questions. Why are we here? What time is it? And is there a place around here a guy can get a drink? Early man, as seen in the cave of Blascoz in France, questioned the morality of making the mammoth extinct. I think we all know what happened there. Is it society's job to tell each other how to live? Recently, Vice City considered passing a public curfew that says nobody can be on the streets after 8.30 p.m. Of course, the bill didn't get passed, but it made people think. If you don't vote, you get morons in charge. Is that moral? I'm not sure. Let's press the issue. Children should be at home with their parents naked. A curfew makes sense. You know how much money I save not having to wear trendy clothes? Read a history book. At the creation of the universe, the Big Bang, everyone was naked. Even you. Why do we have to stay behind this divider? Maurice, please. Because nobody is interested in seeing your business. Because we have standards of decency which you are offending. Look at me! I'm jumping up and down! Oh my goodness, get back behind the divider. Please, I'm married! What's so wrong with me? Why do you hate me because I'm happy? Jan, 
Give me a hug. I won't hurt you. And by the sound of things, your husband is doing the same right now with his secretary. No, we've worked through it. He was stressed. It's hard keeping a family together these days. Everyone, take your clothes off and feel what it's like to be free of bondage. Everyone out there in Vice City, take your clothes off. If this is the land of the free, let's start with our pants. Feel the wind from the air conditioning. Ugh. A breeze is so liberating. <laughs> Thanks very much. Now, if you could get back behind that divider, Barry, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thank you. Uh, n now, sit down. On pressing issues, we think it is very important to respect one another. To treat each other like we would like to be treated. I want a hug. If you don't like the United States, son, why don't you move to Russia? I don't understand people in America today. They call this a Cold War, but it's hotter than hell. Mark Let's unlock the golf course. Hey everyone, here is a quick tutorial on how you can get the Iron Trophy and for a cheap. Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. Tonight, it's the incredible sitcom that has captured America's heart and given the whole country a new catchphrase. up at the adoption agency, the Chesterfields came home with three zany new house guests. Hey, hey tidy your room and go to bed. I'm so sick of this. I keep telling you I've got a fantasy. I look 12, but I'm a 42-year-old. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. Our posh suburban home must be a welcome change from that alley you were sleeping in. Hi, I'm BJ Smith, tight in for the Vice City Mamas and proud. Yeah. 
is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him! To that psycho! In your way was I sport? That's the trophy for Iron E. Now back in we go. And there is some stuff to get here on the country club. So we're gonna do that.